Alright, I'm Captain Matt with Real Adventure Charters. A lot of you might be familiar with my fly tying videos already. Got a new fly here that I've been uh, working on. Tied it up a few days ago. Went out. First time we fished it, come up with about a seven pound black drum and a few flounders. So we had a really, really good time with this fly. The results worked out really good on this new design. And it's probably maybe the one of the original ones that I've come up with, or the only original so far. Uh, it's a Clouser Minnow derivative, uh, just attaching the eye right there. And we'll put a little cement on here in a little bit. What we do is uh, attach the eye on using a number two mustad hook. You run your thread to the back here. I'm going to take some marabou. Trim it up. Get rid of any loose material and chafe. Get a nice piece of marabou there. Just gonna tie it in, tie it in onto the back here. Doesn't have to be neat. This is all gonna get covered up. Go ahead and get it wrapped in nice. Gonna take some gold flash here. Gold or copper. Doesn't have to be a lot but this marabou really makes the uh, the gold flash here come alive and you can just wrap it in any old way it doesn't have to be neat yet go in on one side bring it over to the other now, tighten all this down just a bit alright got the tail of this in place what I like to do now is go ahead and make sure my eyes are straight everything's where it needs to be start gluing things down on this particular fly it's going to get inhaled by black drum redfish flounder it's going to take a beating I want to go ahead and lay, lay down some hardest hole epoxy or whatever epoxy you prefer make a nice base here get everything glued down nice and tight now what I do is I come along and take some rubber leg material this one is orange I use brown use whatever color you like I've got all different colors they even make this in sparkle flash this particular one is orange I just did orange on this one to uh, have it show up a little bit better on the camera. We're going to get right in behind the eye and wrap this in. You want this to stay on the bottom. This fly will ride hook up since it's a clouser. You just want to make sure your legs are in the center there. And you see we've got some sticking up on the top here. You really don't have to worry about that. You can leave it like that or you can just come along and trim it off. Whatever you prefer. Make sure the legs are on the bottom of the fly. That's the the critical part. And we're going to come in, st stick a dab of glue on there, make a few quick wraps. Now I've only been tying this fly for a little while now. The only difficult part of this is getting this leg material out of the way for our next step so the way I do that is just go ahead and wrap it to the front and uh, let my bobbin hang there come along grab another bobbin and attach on again here while leaving the other one hang gets a little tricky it's pretty simple you just gotta work with it get that thread started alright now we're gonna lay down a base of glue again getting ready to come in with some Estaz material to make the body of this fly alright come along with some a root beer Estaz Grande material get it wrapped down the back here I usually let some excess 
grande material towards the front because it's going to get wrapped over. The marabou on the back of this fly gives it a lot of action, makes it really fluid in the water. And then this estaz material in the legs give it some body so it pushes some water. So it moves a lot of water, gets the attention of a fish. I'm going to come along here, get rid of that one. This uh, We're going to get this bobbin out of the way, go ahead and wrap it off. Do you a couple half hitches here. Just to finish this thread off and get it out of our way. Now we're, again, we're going to bring our legs back up. We're going to run this thread to the front. Then we're going to reattach these legs, hold them down out of our way there for a little bit. Just about got them where I want them. All right. Now we can begin our palmering the Estaz forward. These legs will want to come around and get in your way. Just keep pushing them away. Now we'll undo our bobbin, our, our, where we're holding the legs down, we'll undo that, let the legs go free, come in, get the legs right where we want them, then we're going to wrap in front, cover everything up nice. Come around over top of the eye. Come in back underneath. Wrap around the front. And attach off the front of the Estaz material. Trim it off. You can use the rest of it later. Try and pull back these fibers here that are sticking forward. If they all don't come back, it's not a big problem. Finish it off with a couple half hitches. And I usually trim around the eye just a little bit, make it nice and neat so when I'm tying my flies on quickly, this stuff is not in the way. We'll come in here and, of course, epoxy off our final wrap there. And we've got these legs hanging. And I kind of call this the transformer fly. It can be a shrimp, it can be a minnow, it could be a crab. What I normally do is come along and trim these legs at different lengths and right there these legs give it just a little bit more action in the water if you want to it kind of resembles maybe a shrimp at this point if you want to make it resemble a minnow you just come through clip off your legs now it's a minnow uh, it also has a nice little crab look to it as well so it kind of appeals to redfish uh, speckled trout flounder black drum Anything saltwater inshore, uh, this is a nice fly. That's it. That's the uh, the Clouser Transformer, I call it. And I uh, hope you guys like it.